look what I got. Thanks to Warner Brothers for sponsoring this video. They sent me this Wonder Woman toy for free and asked me to make into a cake. Challenge accepted. I'm Lori and you're watching The Icing Artist. You guys can be the first to learn about all things Justice League by joining the league at jointheleague.com. Because we're turning this toy into a cake, I decided to make myself a template. So I just drew that up so that way I have something to carve the cake out of. And I knew how I was gonna do all the details because this Wonder Woman has a lot of details. But we're gonna simplify them. For the cake, I baked a 9 by 13 vanilla cake and just used my template, laid that on top and carved out the rough shape of her body. I am then going to use my serrated knife to carve out more of those details. We're gonna really define that giant square head of hers and her arms and legs. I always carve a little bit more when I'm doing stuff like this, because once you add on the icing and then you add on the fondant, you tend to lose a lot of the details. I then just popped my cake into my fridge for about an hour to chill, so that way when I crumb coat it, I didn't like rip off her little delicate arms and legs because Wonder Woman missing limbs is not what we're going for. <laughs> we're going to start off by covering this whole thing in one big piece of fondant and then add on all the little details onto it. For the big piece of fondant, I just rolled that out and then rolled that back of my rolling pin and back over my cake. The color I used was copper with a little bit of yellow. I found that worked really nicely. And then I just used my hands to really smooth it into all of those creases. You want to make sure when you're smoothing this out, you kind of smooth out those air bubbles because you're going to have little air pockets around if you guys attempt a cake like this and you really don't want those, just make sure you use your hands to get all of those out. On to the details. For her skirt, I just rolled out some blue fondant and I used my little template that I made for my drawing and cut out the shape of her skirt. Once I had the shape cut out, I just used the back of my knife. I thought this worked really great and just pressed that in in the different sections of her skirt, kind of following my template. I thought this was so much easier than cutting out these little tiny pieces of fondant and gluing those onto her skirt because like ain't nobody got time for that. Then to glue the skirt to the cake, I just wet the cake with a little bit of water to glue those two pieces together and then wrap that around. For Wonder Woman's top, I just used a template again and cut out the shape of her top. And while I have my red fondant rolled out, I'm gonna cut out her boots as well, which I'm gonna do in three different pieces. And I just glued those all on again using some water. And it was after I had already put the top on her body that I realized, oh wait, yeah, it has a lot of details in it. So then I just used the back of my knife and kind of carefully while I was on the cake, added in all of those details. I am getting lost in all of the details that is this toy. <laughs> Maybe challenge not accepted. She's got these little brown gloves, so I just added on strips of brown fondant. Pretty easy. I think we're getting back into it again. Maybe not, because then the next detail is gonna be all of these little gold pieces that are all around her, which is a lot of pieces of gold. So I decided to cut those all out of gold color fondant at once. And then to really make them shine, I dusted them with edible gold dust, which looked fantastic and then carefully added those all onto all of the little pieces where gold is required on her outfit. I always thought her outfit looked awesome, but I had no idea how many little details. There are so many little gold pieces and silver pieces and all these little details that you wouldn't notice unless you were actually trying to replicate them. For the little eagle, which I again didn't realize an eagle, and her classic Wonder Woman belt, I just used my template again to cut those out and added in all of the little details and glued those on as well. The details on the headband weren't actually so bad because it was so much of a bigger piece. I was able to drag my knife across the fondant and create really clean lines that way, so it worked out nicely. Again, just gave it that really nice shine with the gold dust and added that on. Now that all the gold stuff is done, it's time for the silver things. <laughs> for her sword, I just rolled out some gray fondant and I stuck a piece of flower wire in it so that way her sword can stick straight up. She's, she's ready for battle in case another cake comes and attacks her. <laughs> And then I also cut out her little wrist plates and the little star that's on her headband and dusted those all silver. I swear before I started dusting everything gold and silver, I was like, oh, should I? I could just leave it gold colored and gray colored, it'll be fine. But I'm really glad I did because like everything looks fantastic. And she can't just have a gray sword. I mean, she's Wonder Woman. Now onto her hair, which really kind of stumped me. I wasn't sure if I should do it in like little individual strands or one big piece and I couldn't figure out how to wrap it around. So what I ended up doing was rolling out a thick piece of fondant and kind of manipulating it with my hands to push it into all of the different grooves and wrap it around her head. And I did that in two sections and then just used my veining tools to add on all of those kind of hair lines. And it looked fantastic. I'm really happy with the way her hair turned out because it kind of looks like that plastic hard piece with just the lines. 
For one of women's robe, I just rolled out a really thin piece of gold fondant and kind of twisted that together to make almost like a little braid and then rolled that in a little bit of gold dust and looped that together and just added that right kind of onto her hand. I cut out two big black circles for her eyes and little part circles for her eyelashes and added those on. Again, I just used a template for her eyebrows. I think that was like a really specific shape. I didn't want a chance. <laughs> So I just used my template and added on a little bitty nose. For her rosy cheeks, I just used a bit of orange color dust. I really dried off my brush so I didn't add too orange of cheeks. You don't want her to look too rosy. And just carefully dusted that on. I'm always terrified adding stuff like this at the final stage because if you mess it up, it can, it can destroy the cake with these really, really orange cheeks. And lastly, of course, I added her sword sticking right up out of her hand as she's ready for battle and she's done. Challenge completed. Hey Warner Brothers, I'm ready for your next challenge. We all know Aquaman's coming. Great casting choice, by the way. And thank you so much to Warner Brothers for sponsoring this video. This was so much fun. If you guys want to learn all things Justice League, you guys want to make sure you join the league by going to jointheleague.com. And as always, don't forget to come back here again next week so we can make something else in the cake. Bye guys.